Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video gives you a quick and easy way of reconnecting your Fire TV stick to your Wi-Fi network or connecting it to the Wi-Fi network. Handy if you don't know what your Wi-Fi password is or if you just can't be bothered to type in those long numbers. So what you need is you need a router or a hub with a WPS button on it and a WPS looks like this or it could be two arrows in a circle sort of pointing left and right or up and down depending on which way you're you're holding your router so let's just give this a try so what we need to do is we need to go to the network settings okay and we need to go down below all the local networks okay and select join network using WPS button it must be the one with button in brackets after it not the one that says join network using WPS pin unless you know the WPS pin number. So let's go back to join network using WPS button. OK, so it does say here that WPA3 is not supported. So if you've got a newish router with WPA3 included in it, not many routers do have this at the time of recording this video in April 2022. But if you have got one of these, then you won't be able to use this method. But generally, most routers as of April 2022 will have just WPA2. OK, so what we need to do is highlight that middle button on the remote control. OK, and then within a few seconds, we need to press the WPS button and hold it for three seconds on the router. So. There we go, held it for three seconds. Now, normally you'll get a light on the router that comes up saying that WPS is active and that's flashing. So uh, hopefully in a few moments it should connect. And there you go, it says WPS succeeded connecting to the network. It looks like it's hung at the moment, but uh, hopefully in a couple of seconds it should actually finish off making the connection. OK, well, mine didn't actually complete the connection there. So I've pressed the back button on the remote control, gone back to this screen. I'm going to go back into network settings. And as you can see, mine has got saved beside it now. That's mine at the top there, BT Hub 5. So I'm just going to select it, OK, and press the middle button on the remote control. And let's see if it connects. OK, so no, it hasn't connected. So it's saying to reboot, so I'm just going to reboot. OK, so it's now rebooted and it has automatically connected. OK, and now I'm going to show you how it should work if everything works first time. So let's just dismiss that. Let's go down to network settings. OK, go down to join network using WPS button. Select that middle button on the remote control. OK, and then hold the WPS button on your router for three seconds. So that's this one just here. OK, a light might flash on your router or your hub. And hopefully after a few seconds, it should connect. And there we go. It says it's connected. This is to another router that I've got. And there you go. Connections been made. Didn't have to do anything apart from, like I say, just press and hold the button on the router for three seconds. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.